Hello and welcome to the Art of Yoga Project's YouTube channel. My name is Holly Saita and today we'll be doing a brief practice helping work towards a pose we call bridge. We'll move dynamically in the shoulders and figure out comfortable ways to get into this back bend and also a slight inversion and brings energy also helps us feel more confident. It's a good pose to help instill confidence. So um, for today's theme, I'd like us to focus on good advice. So this month's theme is kind of working with respecting ourselves and a bunch of different ways that may look. So maybe giving yourself good advice is a good way to respect ourselves. Let's start with a little warm up beginning standing. Wherever you're at, become oriented with your space. Note that today I have props. Uh, one we may be using a lot is a block. You can use a book as well. Um, another thing that will be useful is a blanket or a strap. So if you have a strap at home, you may use a strap instead, but I today will use my blanket for a few things or a belt, anything works. The blanket's also good for padding. Optional also is a bolster or a pillow. So wherever you're at with whatever you've got and whatever you're with, let's just begin getting oriented with the breath. You can start by standing or sitting with a little bit of twisting. So we're gonna try to bring the weight side to side in the feet or if you're seated side to side and just start to move from the waist side to side as well. And then if you're standing or sitting, maybe your arms begin to move with us. And note that as we move today through class, anything I offer is simply just a suggestion. It's an offering, knowing to move with what feels right for you. Sometimes we receive advice in life. Some we take, some we don't. So choosing what advice you'll take and what advice works best for you. See if you can Reach your elbows up a little bit if this feels nice to move in the spine, twisting it up. If you're on the feet with me, maybe you're swinging your arms more vigorously and then coming up onto the toes and moving a little faster with some momentum. Or choosing not to go that route, choosing not to take that advice and take your own advice. And if you'd like to go slower, that's fine too. Finding your pace. And maybe bringing the movement up last into your head. You're looking over one shoulder, looking over the other, right? And then eventually, bring your sways, your twist to a stop, coming back to center, letting your arms be loose by your side. And we're going to do a couple of waterfall breaths. We can do this also standing or sitting. So if you're standing, finding feet beneath, heels sitting comfortably across legged inhale we're going to tap into a breath called waterfall that'll help extend our exhale and as you exhale sh so just noting that this sound might sound like a waterfall or just like when i when you're telling someone to shh this might Help calm the mind as well. If you have any thoughts wandering, can you inhale, exhale, shh, quieting the thoughts in the mind, maybe coming to a stillness now, arms resting down by the side. We'll do once more standing tall or sitting tall, maybe switching the cross of your legs if you're seated, just to do it a little differently. We're gonna do some now side to sides with the head. So inhale to the center, exhale, look left. Inhale to the center, exhale, look right. Inhaling back to center, exhale, look up. Inhaling back and then exhaling down. So once more on your own, moving with your own breath, your own pace, a big exaggerated no. Inhale right, inhale left, maybe come over to the center, 
as you exhale and then over as you inhale. Inhale, come up, big exaggerated, yes. Exhale. And then just letting it kind of go, right? Sometimes we're not sure if it's a yes or a no, maybe it's a maybe, and then we can just let the head kind of bobble in a circle, whatever feels nice, big circles or small circles. And then eventually coming back up with the head after going both directions, we'll come to a seat. Meeting yourself at the middle or top of your mat. If you're together with a group of people or alone, choosing this time before we get into more movement to check in with yourself, to check in with the ones surrounding you. If you're with your peers, your family, a friend, whomever it may be, or just yourself, thinking about some good pieces of advice that have been given to you. And seeing if we can give each other that advice, go around the circle, choose this time to pause, share your name, your feeling, and what is a big, a big good piece of advice that you've been given. So I'll share one for me. I think a great piece of advice that I've been given is to treat others the way that you want to be treated. Kind of like a motto or a mantra as well. Thinking about this advice, holding on to it, bringing with you into your practice if you'd like. We're gonna do a little movement now. Moving towards our bridge pose. Uh, we'll wanna get warmed up in our shoulders for today's class especially, and then the back. So let's start seated. You can start facing the front of your mat, and then you can also just find your seat on a block if you want, or on a blanket to elevate your hips make it easier for your legs to release into a uh, cross-legged position. Wherever you're at, finding a tall spine, we're gonna get into some seated twisting. So inhale, reach the arms up, and then exhale, look over to your left, bring your left palm behind you as like a kickstand, and then your right palm will come out to the outside of the left knee. Choosing, right? this point to go a little further, maybe resisting pressing the palm into the knee can help. Look over if it feels okay on your neck and remain tall on your spines. Exhale, relax the shoulders from the ears, letting go of any unnecessary tension. Let's go ahead and keep our right hand where it's at, reach the left palm up, we'll do a side bend, bringing some lateral stretch into the side of the body. Keep your left hip down and let your neck be comfortable, let your left arm be parallel with the left ear. And then exhale, bring your left hand to your right knee. Let's do a little pause out of our twists now, just crossing our arms. Stretching between our shoulder blades. Let's give ourselves a big hug. You can decide to keep the hands on the knees. Press the knees down. Or wrap your hands around to grab for your shoulder blades. Give yourself a big hug. That's another reason we're here. Just to spend time with ourselves. Also on the note of self-respect. Having some self-love translate through these movements. Let's inhale, open our hearts, reach the arms and the palms out by our sides. And exhale, float the hands down. Switch the position of your legs. So if you had left leg forward or right leg forward, let's switch it up. Sitting up nice and tall, inhale, reach the palms up. Exhale, twist to the right. This time the right palm will come behind you as your kickstand. So if your right hand is too far behind you, we won't be sitting up straight. We want to sit up nice and tall. So keep your right hand close to you. Left palm on the outside of your right knee can help push a little further. Exhaling into each twist, maybe a little deeper. And remembering to let go of the tension in the shoulders, maybe even in the face. Look over your right shoulder if that feels okay on your neck for a couple of breaths. 
Inhaling into our length and then exhaling into more twists. Keep your left hand where it's at. Bring your right palm up now. Big lateral stretch on the right side now. Keeping our left hand there. It can just be a good twist and side bend. And reminding yourself to keep your right palm up parallel with your right ear, trying not to round your, your spine too much. Stay, stay long in both sides of your body. Remembering we don't want to open one side just to close off the other. So stay open in your body where you can breathe easy. And I would hope we could now exhale, bring the right hand to the left knee. Let's cross our arms. I would hope that we could move taking the advice of our breath. Maybe you're having that dialogue with the breathing and letting your breath guide you and taking your breath's advice on what feels good for you. Keep your hands on your knees or give yourself a big hug with your opposite arm crossed on top. Maybe reach for your shoulder blades or just reach for whatever is there. Just giving yourself a big hug. Just opening the space between our shoulder blades. And then inhale, open that up. Let your chest blossom open and let your palms fall by your side. We're going to now see if we can come onto our hands and knees for a couple of cat cows. So finding hips below the knees, blanket if you need it beneath your knees, or fold your mat. Find your wrists beneath your shoulders and just begin to drop the belly and lift the belly. So we did a little twisting, now we're doing some bending and moving with the advice, moving with your breath as that advice. Take a couple more cat cows here and then we'll go ahead and see if we can sit back into a hero's pose. So hero's pose is done seated nice and tall. You can have the blanket beneath your feet or your ankles if this is not okay with your ankles or your knees. Again, coming out to a cross-legged or straight-legged position. We'll grab our blocks now and see if we can frame the block with the L shape of our, of our hands. And inhale, reach the block up. Exhale the block come back down. We want to have strength in our arms as we do this. So inhale, reach the arms up, press the fingers towards each other, holding the block with strength in between the palms. Keep your spine straight. And then exhale, guide it back down. We're doing a little flossing of the shoulders here. Inhale, open, stretch, Strengthen in the arms, relax the shoulders away from the ears if you can, and then exhale the block back down. Bring the block out of the way for now. Take a couple of shoulder rolls. And then go ahead, bind your hands now beneath your shoulders again, approaching our downward dog, our first downward dog. So for downward dog, we'll see if we can press that L shape we just had hugging the block into the mat now. Reach your palms forward, Fingertips facing the top corners of the mat. And then stretch up, lengthen your spine, and maybe tailbone towards the sky. Maybe you stay down halfway. Maybe you explore growing your puppy to a downward dog. Begin to be playful with your movement, reminding yourself. I think another good piece of advice I've been given is to laugh often, right? To not take anything too seriously. So approaching this practice with an open mind, curiosity, Moving forward, let's see if we can look towards the hands and then start to walk our feet towards the hands. Taking a pause here in a forward fold, releasing your top half of your body, kind of like a waterfall over the legs. And then inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale again with that waterfall breath. Let's shh. This time the hands forward. Inhale, raise the arms up, sort of for a chair pose. And then exhale, shh. If 
you've ever stood behind a waterfall before, you can kind of imagine how loud it is and how kind of safe and secluded it feels behind a waterfall as you do this exhale. Shh. Relax your arms down towards the mat. Let's take our left leg back now. Pausing and a lunge. And we will come up off of the back knee to a high lunge as we press the back heel back, right ankle underneath right knee. Raise your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, cactus a little bit. So like cactus arms, chest forward and tuck your tailbone, open your hearts again. I think that's a good piece of advice, right? Stay lighthearted, stay balanced, press the feet down, reach up with the hands. This time, big hug, left arm over right. Big hug again. And with some momentum, let's see if we can maybe come forward and bring up that back leg. Balancing with a self hug here. And seeing if we choose to come to eagle arms, we can open the palms and clasp our finger, right fingers on the left palm, or just remain giving yourself a big hug. And a little balancing helps to focus and look forward. And then come back with that back knee, open up again, cactus the arms. Exhale, hands down to the mat, and go ahead and switch, nice and fast, right? If you wanna take the advice to Inhale and switch a few times, or once, twice, or just switching slowly, you know, taking what feels good for you. Start in a low lunge. If you need, back knee on a mat, on a, the folded mat or a blanket. Let's rise up, press the front foot into the ground, remembering to stay aligned. Reach the palms up. Exhale, cactus again the arms. Let's see if we can come up to our high lunge if that feels nice to press the back heel back. Right heel faces and presses back behind us. Left foot into the mat. High lunge, cactus. Open the heart, lighten your hearts. Lighten the practice. Remember, go ahead and bring it in. Wrap opposite arm on top, so right arm on top of the Let's see if we can fly forward here, maybe taking that advice to just launch fast or slow. Keep your left knee bent in balance. See if we can focus and breathe and find our gaze in one spot. Just a little breath. Balancing can help us to focus <clears throat> and find stability before movement always, I think is a really great piece of advice. So feel stable where you're at before you move. Maybe you find full eagle arms or stay in your self hug. Maybe you bind your arms, spread your wings, shoulder blades apart, and then float your right foot back down. Open it up again, blossom out. Exhale the hands down. And this time, bring the left foot back to beat the right. We'll come all the way down onto our backs. We're gonna kind of bridge, our dynamic bridge practice. So no, we can use our bolster. We can use our block. We'll have those things by us. First using the block. Let's go ahead and come on down, floating all the way to our backs. Or flipping over if you have the block here and ready. Again, let's bring the blocks or a block or something of the sort if you have it, or a strap will work too. So if you have a strap, you can use a strap or the block or a belt. Inhale, see if you can keep your hands though at a shoulder width distance. That's why the block is a good tell. Block is a good shape. Inhale. Let's see if we can bring the block back and lift the hips up as we press the feet into the floor. Ankles beneath knees. And then exhale, Bring the block and the hips down. Move dynamically through your bridge. Inhale, reach your hips up, block back. Exhale, hips down, block down. Inhale, reach up. Tailbone tucks and faces towards the knees. Strengthen the back of the body. Exhale, upper back, middle back, lower back. Down on the back. 
Once more, moving with your breath, moving with your advice for life. What is that advice? What is it? Keep going, exhale, come down, removing your block to the side and grabbing a bolster if you do have it nearby. We'll see if we can go ahead and bring the bolster, lift up the hips, snug the bolster beneath the hips, snug your block beneath the hips to enjoy a restorative wheel pose. It's restorative bridge pose or wheel. The hips are elevated here. Anything that you can get beneath your hips, but as long as they're not too high and it's not too uncomfortable, you can pick the hips up, the feet up off the ground. And if your hips fall to the side, note that you wanna move the support down to, to the lower back and not on your spine. So relaxing in your restorative bridge for a few breaths or choosing to move forward and taking whichever advice you would like, listening to your body. Maybe you wanna relax here in this back bend or restorative and supported or you'd like a challenge. Press your feet into the mat as we find a hip width distance with the feet. Keep the knees activated together. See if you can bring your arms up again into that shape as if you had the block. But this time, bring your fingers to frame your face and fingers will face down towards the toes now. Moving to a wheel pose, if you would like, you press the hands into the mat, bring the top of the head to the mat. First, lifting the hips a little higher and then inhale, press into your arms. Find that, that space in the shoulders we've been working through Breathing there, pressing the lightness of the heart up and back, and take a breath wherever you're at, remembering I think good advice is to breathe. Best advice. Press the insteps of the feet down. I hope we all take the advice to breathe. And then tuck your chin in, or bring the head slowly, top of the head to the floor, then tuck the chin in, and we're gonna come back to your bridge or remain in bridge knowing you can go in and out of wheel or bridge it's a nice energy lifting pose hopefully feeling like you can just go around and give a bunch of good advice rolling out your wrist taking a moment to bring your hands first removing your block or your bolster we'll bring the palms to sort of a flower shape Bring the pinkies and the thumbs together, closing the base of the hands. Can you imagine that piece of advice or a seed? Can we plant that seed within the palms? We're going to roll out the wrist and do a moving mudra. So a mudra is something you do with the hands. Keep the base of the wrist and the tops of the wrist together as we kind of flow. Imagining just sending that advice out. And then thinking about rolling your wrist and switching now the direction. So fingers come up and back towards you, whatever direction we're going go the other way. Know that, you know, taking advice, giving advice, whatever give and take karma, thinking about what you give, you can get, what you get, you can give. Love to the wrist is always a good idea too. Now shake it out, let the arms and the elbows and the wrists and the fingers go. And then relaxing down for a final relaxation. Note during our final relaxation, you may choose to use an eye pillow or a shirt or anything of the sorts to just kind of rest over your face to help eliminate distractions. Maybe you rest a pillow beneath your head, a blanket beneath your head. Option for today's Savasana to bring the bolster that you may or may not have beneath your knees. And that can be a nice release for the low back from the back bending and just from sitting up all day long. This can feel really nice for the legs. Anybody who has restless legs is using them all day long. Giving yourself 
time at the end of your practice to find stillness if you can. Noticing the sounds that are happening around you. Maybe thinking of how we have lots of people who try to give us advice or guidance in our lives. Just thinking back to those people. And remembering all of the good advice, taking a deep breath into each piece. Allowing your body to relax in the idea of doing nothing. Nothing to hold on to with your hands. Nothing to pick up with your arms. Nowhere to walk. Just be. Sometimes people's advice is to chill out choosing to take whatever piece of advice helps to relax you, giving yourself these moments to let your practice soak in. Taking your time here, if you choose to settle in a little deeper into your final relaxation, Pausing if you'd like, doing a few more waterfall breaths if you choose. Inhale through the nose. Exhaling. Nice and slow. SH. Coming out when you're ready, we'll wiggle the toes, the nose. Fingers, stretch the arms and roll over to your side. And let your props fall off for now. Lying on your side for a moment before assisting yourself up to a seat. Ah, back to sitting tall, on the same pose, perhaps a different perspective. You're just remembering. Um, all those pieces of advice that may or may not have popped up for you during practice. Maybe sharing now, taking a moment, if you're with a group of people, to write out uh, good pieces of advice on little pieces of paper or note cards. Passing it around the room, reading it aloud to each other, handing out good advice. Otherwise, if we're alone, just sealing in whatever piece of good advice. Maybe you want to make a note for yourself and put it on your wall as a reminder when you need good advice. We'll all end together. I thank you so much for practicing with me again today here on the Art of Yoga Project YouTube channel, and I hope to see everyone soon. We'll close out by sitting up nice and tall, taking one collective breath together, something we can still all do as a community. Let all your breath out, maybe shh. One last waterfall breath. Inhale your palms, bring them up. Bring all the advice in. Seal it in two palms. Bring it down to your heart, wherever resonates for you. Bowing the light in me, sees and honors in each of you. Namaste. Thank you so much.